everyone, it's Fairy Witch One here. Uh, I'm going to continue on with my topics, and today's fairy tale princess is Rapunzel. Um, this is my favourite of the fairy tales. Um, a lot of you may have seen, some of you may not because you may think, oh, it's dead childish this. Um, but most of you may have seen the film Tangled, um, which is one of my newest favourite Disney films. So I am going to tell you a little bit about Rapunzel, then I'm going to go into the incantation. Um, now, most of you will be familiar with the tale of the beautiful princess trapped inside the ivory tower by a wicked witch. Rapunzel was the fairest maid in the land, but her great beauty was hidden from view, locked away in a tower with no door or staircase, only a window high up at the top of the turret. When the witch wished to visit Rapunzel, she would let her tell her to let her hair down. Her beautiful long golden hair which the witch would use as a rope to climb up into the tower chamber. Rapunzel had a beautiful voice and she would sing songs to while away the hours. One day a prince was riding through the woods and became enchanted by Rapunzel's singing. Finding the tower he soon discovered that there was no way in, so he sat beneath a tree to try to work out a way to get inside. It was at that moment that he heard the old witch shout Rapunzel Rapunzel let down your hair and watch he watched through the trees as he saw the old woman, the old witch, climb up the tower, using Rapunzel's hair as a rope. Waiting until the witch had gone, the prince made himself known to Rapunzel and asked her to let down her hair. Then he climbed into the tower, where they made plans for Rapunzel's escape. However, the witch discovered these plans, cut off Rapunzel's hair and cast the prince from the window. He landed in a black thorn bush and was blinded by the thorns. Rapunzel and the prince... Both lived unhappily apart for several years, until the old witch died and Rapunzel was free. She searched for the prince, and when she found him blinded, she cried for his pain and suffering. As Rapunzel's tears touched the prince's eyes, his sight returned and he was completely healed. The lovers went on to build a happy life together. Rapunzel has a story of careful timing, and its key word is retreat. Only when the time is right does Rapunzel finally escape the enchanted tower, and only when the time is right does she find her prince. Once again, the Wicked Witch is a distorted version of the Crown Goddess, presiding over fate and teaching that sometimes the wisest action is to do nothing. If this is your favourite fairy tale, your life's path will probably include some form of retreat. This could mean that you are a naturally self-contained person who enjoys their own company, or it could mean that you often go on a spiritual or religious retreat. Maybe you have a second home or a private room in your house that serves as a retreat. Whatever form your retreat takes, it is important to you to have your own space, and you may even have been inspired to turn your home into something of an ivory tower. Healing is also likely to be an aspect of your life. Whether you're an in, you are involved in the nursing profession or simply in helping friends. Now, as, as it says, this is my favourite fairy tale and without even knowing it, I was in, I'm in the nursing profession. I'm a manager in a care home. Um, friends and loved ones through difficult times. Maybe you often find yourself taking on the role of counsellor within your circle of friends. Nevertheless, it is important to you to preserve your own time and space for yourself, in addition to helping others when you can. To return with your inner Rapunzel, say the following incantation three times whenever you need her magic. Rapunzel, with your hair so long, in my tower I know I'm strong. Safe and sound, I bide my time and wait until I've had a sign. Then I'll venture forth into life and use my gifts to heal strife. Rapunzel with your hair so long, in my tower I know I'm strong. Safe and sound I bide my time and wait until I've had a sign. Then I'll venture forth into life and use my gifts to heal strife. Rapunzel with your hair so long, in my tower I know I'm strong. Safe and sound I bide my time. And wait until I've had a sign. Then I'll venture forth into life and use my gifts to heal strife. So that is my talk on Rapunzel. The next one will be the Snow Queen. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video and bless it be everybody.